Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are LA. The Angels' offense has been on fire lately, and the log ball has led the way to 26 runs in the last two games. Tonight in Texas, the Halos look to stay red hot as they go for a sixth consecutive win in their quest for the American League West title. Angels and Rangers next. We welcome you to T-Mobile Tuesday Night Baseball, the third city in three days for the Angels. Minneapolis on Sunday, Cleveland yesterday, and today we begin a three-game set at Globe Life Park against the Texas Rangers. The Halos with a victory last night and with the loss by the Oakland Athletics late in Chicago, now have an eight-game lead over the A's. Seattle won against Houston. They stand nine back. We welcome you inside Globe Life Park and back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West, along with Mark Gubiza. On Victor Rojas, and just as we've pointed out to you, the Angels' offense has been clicking overall. Five-game winning streak. You're talking about 70 hits to go with those 26 runs. Victor, very similar to what we saw just before the All-Star break. Slowed down a little bit in the second half, but not in this last five or six games. And take a look at our T-Mobile game changer. You're talking about the offensive changing the game right now. Be able to crush the ball. Seven home runs in the last two games for the Halos facing some tough pitching along the way. You mentioned those runs scored. Be able to square up the baseball. They've been using... The entire field, that's the impressive thing. Even when they look like they're out in front of some pitches, they're still able to get the barrel of the bat on the baseball and drive it. Averaging a little over nine runs per game, 70 hits. That's averaging at 14 hits. Pitching the home runs they've been able to hit and scoring a bunch of runs and taking the pressure now off the pitching staff. Bullpen has been great to getting that early runs for the starting staff and be able to win these games five in a row. Now the Angels hadn't had hit the long ball up until the weekend series against Minneapolis. Now that long ball is certainly prevalent. We'll see if they can keep it going with Hector Santiago on the hill going for the Angels and Kobe Lewis for the Texas Rangers. We're just about ready for baseball here in Texas. Sit back, relax, line up the first pitch when we return.
Texas, the Rangers taking the field for the first of a three game set. All three night games before the Angels return home for their last home stand of the season. That will begin on Friday night, but still work to be done here in Texas. They're facing a familiar foe. And Colby Lewis is making his fourth start against the Angels. And while uh, they discuss the ground rules here in Arlington, we'll give you Mike Search, starting lineup for the Angels. Game number 144, 88 and 55 with that eight game lead in the West. Cole Calhoun will lead things off at right. Mike Trout is in center. Outer pool holes at first base. No Josh Hamilton for the fifth consecutive game. He is still dealing with that sore shoulder. So Howie Kendrick will bat in that cleanup spot at second. David Freeze at third. Eric Ibar, the shortstop. Brendan Bosch gets a start at DH. Hank Conger making his second consecutive start behind the plate. Colin Calgill will get the starting nod in left field. Taking on the 35-year-old right-hander native of Bakersfield, California. Colby Lewis. Yeah, Colby Lewis. 9 and 12 on the season here at over five fastballs 86 to 91 throws a slider curve pretty solid changeup the keys if you go against Colby Lewis for the Halos to be successful drive the ball to the gap don't think in terms of hitting home runs use that middle part of the field the ball will carry well and score early and often first four innings ERA for Lewis 6.15 but after that fifth inning 3.88 so he will give up some runs early on you have to tack on those runs and allow Hector Santiago to have some room to breathe Let's take a look at the defense for the Texas Rangers tonight. You've got Robertson left Martin in center and choice in right Beltre Sardinas Rodriguez and Rua from third to first and Talis is behind the plate and Rodriguez getting that start at second base is 64th player used this year for Texas, which is a major league record played well over almost 1100 minor league games first start in the major league level four which is a great story for rodriguez yeah, fantastic uh, that, that making that major league debut just an organizational guy originally starting in the milwaukee brewer system was a minor league rule five selection back in 2011 then with texas and this is kind of a reward for a uh, for all the years that he has spent in the minor leagues, 13 seasons in the minor it leagues. It truly is a great story. It's a, what a thrill for him to get an opportunity to play a major league game and going against one of the Rangers' rivals in the Angels here tonight. Tim Bogar, the interim skipper for the Texas Rangers, was asked if he was going to tell him that he was going to make the start. He said, no, nope, I just want to put him up the lineup card in the clubhouse and let him walk up to him and get that feeling that he's making that first major league start. So we're just about ready for baseball here. Colby Lewis on the mound. Cole Calhoun in the batter's box in tonight's first pitch is a fastball in for a strike. Jim Joyce, the veteran, has called the balls and strikes. Adam Hamari at first. Doug Eddings at second. Corey Blazer, the umpiring crew for this three game set. Calhoun is five for seven in his career versus Lewis. That's a 7 14 batting average. Cole was on board all five times in yesterday's game against Cleveland. Three for three, two singles, a home run, and two walks, 284, 14 home runs, and 51 runs batted in. 0 2 now, and that is out toward right field, hit well. Chasing this one is Choice. He's back at the wall, gone, a big fly, leadoff style for Cole Calhoun. 1 0 Angels. Boy, well, you now we said it a number of times, even in spring training, that Cole is still extremely confident, even when he's been behind in the count. He's had some pretty good hacks, whether it's 0-2 or 1-2. That certainly was a great hack for Cole Calhoun. His 15th home run, 52nd RBI of the season for the leadoff hitter for the Halos. Keep this in mind, the Angels have won 20 straight when he has scored a run. Well, he has scored a run already in the game. So Mike Trout steps into the batter's box. And he looks at a strike. Trout a 287 average, 32 home runs and 102 runs batted in. Back to back games for Cole with a home run. 1 1 now. Trout yesterday had a multi hit game going two for four, two singles, two strikeouts in a walk, scored twice yesterday. I mentioned Colby Lewis's numbers as Trout fouls this one back 1 and 2. Prior to tonight, 17 runs those last four starts, allowing 32 hits, seven of which were home runs. So now 33 hits, eight home runs in his last five starts. And one and two against the Angels this year with an ERA over 11. Upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. They made the start the last time the Angels were in town. That was on August 16th. 
took the loss, gave up five runs all earned on ten hits, six innings of work, had ten strikeouts in that game. And Trout strikes out swinging. And there's the first out here, the first. So Mike has been racking up a lot of strikeouts of late. And that'll bring up Albert Pujols. Monday key to this game today for the Halos. Genesis, follow you, follow me. That's the approach. Even talking to Gary DeSarcina before the game, it says everybody's having that similar type of approach. Good swing followed by an even better swing and then so forth from that point. That's what we've seen a lot of is follow you, follow me from this offense. Albert drives one out toward left center field. Martin is there. And he is under it. Makes the catch. Two down. Boy, just missed that one. Now that's a long way up to that part of the field. Doesn't carry quite as well to left center as you see to right center field here. So two outs of nobody off for Howie Kendrick. Sky's one. The first base side drifting toward the seat sent out of play. A lot of early hacks against Lewis. He's around the strike zone. Yeah. He will throw a lot of first pitch fastballs also. Kendrick hitting 288 with seven home runs and 66 runs batted in. He lines this one into right field, a base hit. Choice over to try to cut it off, does so. So Howie's on board with a two out single. Boy, how hot is Howie? Yeah, six game hitting streak now for Kendrick. We talk about using the entire field. Howie's been doing that extremely well. Howie now 14 for 30 on this road trip. Mammoth home run the other day in Minnesota to left center field, second deck. Also hit one off the wall in center field. It's a warm night here in Arlington, 93 degrees at first pitch. As Freeze looks at a strike on a breaking ball. Oh, what? Third baseman hitting 256, seven home runs at 45 runs batted in. His one and only hit last night, the uh, a three run blast in that fifth inning for the Angels, a six run fifth against Cleveland. One ball, one strike. And there's a uh, Typical here in the summertime in Arlington. Yeah, the south wind is blowing. That usually means you get the jet stream out to right and right center field. The flags pointing in from the south. And the odd thing, if you're sitting at home and you're watching the game, you see those flags blowing in from right, but that's where the baseball will carry well when you especially don't hit it as high up above the stadium. It goes a long way. To right field, right center field. Yeah, the line shots are the ones that will mostly carry out. High fly balls get stopped. Kendrick takes off, freeze. Skies with a lap, not hit very deep. Robertson, a long run toward the foul line. And the left fielder makes a catch for the third out. But the Angels get a run. Cole Calhoun with a leadoff blast, his 15th of the season. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Angels on top, one nothing.
scoring as we begin the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at uh, the Texas Rangers at 54 and 89. The lineup that uh, interim skipper Tim Bogar is running out there. Leonis Martin will lead things off. He's in center. Daniel Robertson in left field. Adam Rosales will serve as a DH. Adrian Beltre is at third base. Ryan Rua, the first baseman. Tomas Talis is the catcher. Luis Sardinas, the shortstop. Michael Choice at right. And that is Gilder Rodriguez. Making his major league debut, batting ninth and playing second base. Taking on Hector Santiago comes into this one. A 4 7 record, a 3.46 ERA. He delivers strike one. Well, he's been throwing the ball exceptionally well. The keys for Hector in this game is just to go out there and attack the strike zone. Breaking ball, and the uh, team says that ball hit him. He tried to sell it anyway. And a one loss record, not great for Hector, but he's throwing the ball exceptionally well. ERA 3.46. 1 1. Down of the way. And the keys for Hector here. Mention that. Stay hydrated. Always when you warm up, especially down in the bullpen, you need a lot of water and quick outs. More important in this heat today for Hector and the Angels. Get deep in the game. Martin pops it up to shallow center field. Trout coming in, Ivar and Kendrick going out. Ivar with the call and the catch. One well, always a good idea to brace yourself when Trout's coming close to you. One of those tough plays. Second base short going back. And then Trout there for protection running in. Eric Ivar. And he's calling for it, but Eric Ivar already called it. He's in position there. Eric Ivar goes, I got that easy. By the way, I'm glad you didn't run into me. That wouldn't have felt too good. Those are the pop-ups that we were just talking about that usually get killed by that win. They hang up there, so it becomes a little bit easier play for a, a middle infielder. Otherwise, the, uh, the outfielder has to continue to run toward the infield as Robertson looks at the strike. Both Howie and, and Eric are very good as far as going back on pop-ups. And they wait to last moment to be called off by an outfielder coming in. Very athletic and cover a lot of ground. Got even up on Robertson, the left fielder, hitting 284 this season. Eight home runs. Check that. Eight doubles. One triple. No home runs. 17 runs batted in. Fouls this one back. It's one ball, two strikes. After coming off a start, which he uh, picked up no decision. Against the Twins, gave up four runs on eight hits and five innings of work. Three strikeouts, three walks through 90 pitches. And one pitch he would like to have back is that change up to Nunez and hit a three run home run against him. Other night, he threw the ball well. Way inside. Two balls, two strikes. Hector did make the start here at Texas on August 17th. A run on four hits, six innings, got a no decision. Off speed down the line, and that's into the seats. One and two, and that just got a fan. There's to no be all right, man. See, no problem. I don't know that he felt it. Made the play in the end. Got the baseball. Two two now. Outside. Full count. Just here, uh, less than a month ago. This one lifted out toward left center, not very deep. Calgill comes in, calls Trout off. Two outs. Check out the defense for the Angels tonight. Colin Calgill and left Mike Trout at center. Cole Calhoun at right. The infield is David Fries, Eric Ibar, Howie Kendrick, and Albert Pools from third to first with Hank Conger behind the plate. And the norm with Hector Santiago in the middle. A lot of fly ball action. And Cole Calhoun has been outstanding in right field. One of two right fielders with at least eight assists or one or less. Mark Kakis is having a solid season in right field for the Baltimore Orioles this season also. But Cole has been great. As far as his reads off the bat, a couple good plays yesterday in Cleveland. So two outs, nobody off for Adam Rosales. First one is off the plate. Rosales serving as a DH tonight. 
294. Four home runs, 17 RBIs. 40th game with Texas. This would foul out of play. No Alex Rios, no Elvis Andrews. Rios has been dealing with a minor injury. Andrews just did not play today with uh, Rodriguez, the second baseman, making his major league debut. Bogart felt that uh, Luis Sardinas, who had worked with him in the minor leagues, would make him a little more comfortable up the middle. Two balls, one strike. That's why Andrews is not playing. He should play the next two games. The thing about Rosales, he loves pitches up, especially high fastballs. Fifth game of the DH spot for him this year. Two one. This is pulled third pass freeze. And it's a two out single. So it'll bring up Beltre with a man on and two away. Now you'd like to face with the, uh, the base is clear. And the only real threat in this lineup that has been decimated this uh, year with injuries. Yeah. Shinsu Chu or Prince Fielder. Yeah, when you're going through this lineup for the, the entire pitching staff, especially tonight, this is the one guy you don't give in to at any point. And the great season for Beltre, 323 batting average with 70 RBI. Twenty seven doubles Beltran 17 home runs takes low. Cole Calhoun with a lead off home run to start this ball game off his 15th of the year. And the Angels a one nothing lead. So the Angel trying to perform the old shut down it. Off speed. It's two balls and no strikes. Santiago this year out on the road. A two and four mark at a 4.02 ERA. It's a sub three ERA at home this season. Two and one. The change up in a fastball count. Lower part of the strike zone. Texas at 54 and 89 on the year, 25 and 43 here at home. They were off yesterday. The Angels were in Cleveland playing that makeup game. Spelled off the rock, 2 2. The number of injuries that the Rangers have had 64 players and 40 pitchers, both Major League Baseball records, 23 rookies, the most used by any team this year. And that Sableus was used quite a bit too, 26 times. And Rosales picked off. Pools fires to second, and Rosales uh, easily in there. Late head first dive at the back of second. That's a fifth pickoff. The season for Hector Santiago. Perfect throw, too, for Pools. One to the second with the Angels still on top.
Fox Santiago with a tough hitter at the plate. It's a nice job as far as his defensive position. Throws the ball over there. Albert Pools, who says a perfect feed to Howie Kendrick to finish off the inning. Fifth pickoff this year for Hector Santiago, especially with Beltre at the plate. I was going to say, gift of an out, if you will. Beltre at the plate, your best hitter, even with a two strike count. One swing of the bat, and uh, Texas is on top, two to one. It's good the patience. Will take it. Good patience by Hector. Ibar looks at his drive to even account at one and one. Ibar, Bosch, and Conger for the Angels here against Colby Lewis. Gave up the leadoff home run to Calhoun and a two out single to Kendrick. Nothing more. Eric hitting 284 this year. Six home runs, 62 RBIs. It's one and two. Eric had a one for four game yesterday with a single. Also picked up a stolen base. This is 15th of the year. Two balls, two strikes. When coming into this season, Hector Santiago's had one career pickoff. Now five this season. Two two. Called strike three. Ibar goes down looking. Second strike out for Lewis. Folks, you can follow every Angel game with MLB.com at bat on your favorite mobile phone or tablet. Get live lookings, instant replay, scores, stats, audio, free MLB.tv game of the day and more. Just download the App Store and log on at Angels.com today for more details. One out, nobody on, and here's Brennan Bosch. Bosch DH today. 146 this season. Two doubles, two home runs. Check that, two RBIs. That's a pretty good pitch to drive, too, for Bosch. Bosch, five for 21 against Lewis, but three of those five hits have been home runs. Ran his last start on Saturday as a left fielder, went 0 for 4 in Minnesota. Pulls this one to first. Rua takes a big kangaroo hop, races to the bag, and beats Bosch for round number two. with some good reflexes here top hop baseball hit the grass in the dirt cut off there towards first base not only quick hands but saved himself from that one too yeah. that was going right towards his neck or face area self-preservation two outs recorded by colby lewis and here's hank Cock. back-to-back starts for him and gets one past second base, and it's a two out single. Texas not over shifting on Conger. One of the uh, perhaps first times we've seen that this year. So Conger's on board with two outs. He had a single yesterday going one for five. Colin Calgill will step to the plate now. Two fifty six average with five home runs and 18 runs batted in getting a start out in left field. Collin was out of left field yesterday, the only starter that did not get a hit, but he did pick up an RBI in that fifth inning. He cuts through the high fastball. And so it two. That's one thing you'll see from Lewis, especially with his fastballs, tries to go upstairs to get a swing and miss or a pop-up. He can lay off that high fastball, bring it down in the zone, it becomes very hittable. One ball, two strikes. One nothing Angels here in the second. Calhoun with a leadoff home run. He's on deck. They're over at first base with a two out single.
Chopper towards short. Sardinas has it. Feeds Rodriguez at second, and the inning comes to an end. Right at the bottom of the second, Beltre will lead things off for Texas with the Angels on top, one nothing. For help, tweet us your photo using hashtag WestFanPhone. It could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. The ever popular AT&T fan photo yes. of the game. Oh, the foam trouts made it. Long way. Yeah. A lot of lakes here in Texas. Though. Yes, there is. Freshwater trout. As opposed to the, the old saltwater one. <laughs> Peltry was at the plate when Rosales got picked off to end the first. He lines on the left to base hit. Fastball that was up. That's why it was so important for Hector to pick off Rosales, especially with Beltre at the plate. The season he's having. Second hit allowed by Santiago and Ryan Arua will step up. He's the first baseman. Ten games in the big leagues. 263 so far with a double and three RBIs. Seventeenth round pick just a couple of years ago. 2011 out of Lake Erie College. That's in Painesville, Ohio. The first ever to get to the big leagues from Lake Erie College. Tip of the cap. I know, no question. Foul that one back. It's one ball, one strike. Well, it is amazing how many players the Rangers have used this season. We talked about that earlier. You know, coming into the season, especially when you make a deal for Prince Fielder. Since you choose, signed as a free agent, and the success the Rangers have had of late, you wouldn't think that would be the case. Two balls, one strike. Ruol with a nice season between uh, Double A and Triple A this year. Hit 306 combined, 18 home runs, and 74 runs batted in. Starting first baseman tonight. Beltre over at first base with a leadoff single. That is lined towards center, a base hit, so back to back hits to start off the second. Tomas Talese, the catcher now, will come to the plate. It's a Texas team that currently stands sixth in the American League in the batting average at 255. 14th in home runs. 
12th in the run scored. Got the catcher at the plate at Taylor's and likes to swing the bat. Nine games in the big leagues for him. He shows bunt. Pushes one on the first base side and Santiago will apply the tag. And the sacrifice advances Beltre to third and Rua to second. Sack bunt. He'll take that here in this ballpark. He'll take outs. Even though now two runners in scoring position against Hector. A lot of times you don't see the sacrifice bunt real early in the game here in this yard because of the way the baseball flies. This one's popped up right side. Kendrick puts it away for round number two. So Luis Sardinas swinging first pitch. Perhaps a little over aggressive. It's a second out here, the second inning. Big out for Hector Santiago, but now you got to maintain the focus. Now and out prevents a run from scoring. A ground ball in the middle infield would have been a run score for Texas. Instead, now you can throw it without giving up a run at all. Michael Choice looks at a strike. Right fielder tonight, hitting 183 in the big leagues this season. Nine home runs and 33 runs batted in. Choice playing in his 81st game. Picked up in an offseason trade with the Oakland A's in exchange for Craig Gentry. He's a local product at the University of Texas Arlington. Former first round pick of the Athletics. This one lifted down the line, slicing toward the wall. Cole is there, makes the catch, and that'll end the threat. As Texas leaves a couple of men stranded in scoring position. One of the third, the Angels on top. Leading off the game, Colt Calhoun, who had a fantastic game yesterday, three for three with two walks, leads off the game with a solo shot. His 15th home run, high fives in that dugout now. 52 RBI for Colt Calhoun. One nothing Angels on that Colt Calhoun home run. Top of the order, Calhoun, Trout, and Pujols. Second time through the order, and the first one's up and away. 
Lewis with a couple of strikeouts and three hits allowed. This one's pulled toward second and Rodriguez with a diving snag. And there's the first out. And Rodriguez showing some good range. His first start in the major leagues. A nice play into that outfield grass diving. Trout a strikeout victim in the first. So for one. Nice dig there by Talese. One ball, one strike. Halo's out on the road now, 41 and 31. This uh, stretch of games in which they won five consecutive. Against the West this year, the Angels at 33 and 24. They took two of three from Texas the last time they were in town. That's what the uh, four games set prior to the All Star break. Two of two. Very similar to the pitch that got Trout in his first inning at bat. Yeah, you would think with a the fastball there, he's going to try to throw down a slider on that same plane. Full count. The Angels 10 and 3 against Texas this season. Pujols on deck, and again, Colby Lewis starts the windup and stops. Went through another series of signs, not comfortable with the pitch. Gonna go fastball away. Three two. That's a foul and a play on the right side. And you got a young catcher, too, 23 year old behind the plate. Not a whole lot of experience at the major league level. Texas. Uh, Short on the bench. They've got a four man bench, but only two are available. Having to do with that 40 man roster and the uh, inability to add someone to that roster spot. As this one's popped up on the third base side toward the seats. Yeah, you would think at this time of the year there would be plenty of extra players. Yeah. But because of the injuries all across the major league roster as well as the minor league roster, if Texas, let's say, wanted to add a player. It wasn't on the 40 man roster. They'd have to take someone off. They're at a full 40 right now. And they don't want to do that at this point and risk losing that player on waivers. Let's back up the middle. It's a base hit for Trout. So a one out single for Trout. It'll bring up Albert. First baseman, Albert. Albert hit went out toward left center field, tracked down by Martin in the first inning. So he's 0 for 1. In case you're wondering, Oakland and Chicago underway. That game's in the bottom of the second at U.S. Cellular Field. Seattle will host Houston later on. Here it's 1 0 Angels. Albert takes some stairs. Quasi shift. Rodriguez the second baseman playing toward the middle but not quite where Brian Dozier of the twins was playing where he was playing almost directly behind the bag at second and Albert seemed to find him every time when you could steal the base against Colby Lewis allowed 17 stolen base against him this year off the end of the bat toward the middle the shortstop Sardinas has it safe at second out at first Sardinas had already crossed the bat. Our partner Rodriguez had already crossed the bag on the feed by Sardinas. So it's the fielder's choice. 
near the flip over to the base. It looked like Rodriguez was anticipating Sardinas stepping on the base, taking it himself. Right. He was trying to vacate the area. Wisely threw the ball over the first base, though, to get pulls. See him trying to get out of the way, using the bare hand. And a throw over to get Albert Pools. The eventual 6 4 3 put out on a ground ball. Yeah. I misspoke when I said fielder's choice. So, man in scoring position for Howie Kendrick, who singled his first time up. The first one on the corner, first drive. One ball, one strike. Texas, of course, having to deal with all the injuries, the uh, the losing season towards the end of last week, dealing with the, the resignation of their manager, Ron Washington. Still no uh, reason as to why he stepped down. Tim Bogart taking over at the interim basis. And now he shoots it out toward right center field. Martin had him played perfectly. Makes the catch. He had to reach up to make that play. It was yeah. so hard by Howie once again. Then the Halos leave a man in score position. We'll head to the bottom of the third. One nothing Angels. And Robertson, Gilda Rodriguez, the second baseman, 31 year old, native of Barquisimeto in Venezuela. First major league start for him. Sitting 260 down the minor leagues with eight doubles, one triple, 21 home runs. If you weren't with us at the top of the show, 13 year minor leaguer. Getting the call up and uh, just a big old thank you. For being a nice organizational player over the last several seasons and with the injuries getting the opportunity here to get his first major league start. One ball two strikes. It's good to see the Rangers reward somebody with that yeah. perseverance too. 1095 career minor league games over 13 seasons. Swing and a miss down he goes for the first out. That'll bring up the Otis Martin. Hey folks, next Tuesday, the Angels will be hosting the Seattle Mariners. That is part of a four good series at the Big Eight. Fans in attendance will receive an Angel sombrero courtesy of State Farm while supplies last. Purchase your tickets today at the Angel State of Ticket Officer by logging on at angels.com. The sombrero made its way here to Texas. They even love it here in the Lone Star State. Oh, why wouldn't you? Martin offers it that pitch, and it's a new one count. I'm sure you're going to be asking to do the opening wearing that, aren't you? I don't know. I uh, have to wait and see. Jonas Martino for one as he popped down to Eric Ibar in shallow center. This one down towards center field. 
Chop moving back on it has a play. Two outs. You want to do the open with some breath? I think it would be perfect with our red polo shirts. I know it's supposed to be pretty warm at home. Oh, so now you're lobbying for the red polos to go with the sombrero. You know what? Though? Upper it 90s does match. to 100. Yes. It does match. All right. Maybe. Suggestion. You know what? I concur. I say let's do it. Yes. Let's, you know what? Let's leave it up to the fans, shall we? Yeah. A little phone, uh, yeah. fan balloting here. Yes, there you if go. If you'd like for us to wear the uh, red golf shirts with the, uh, the big A on it and the sombrero for our open on Tuesday, Send us a tweet. How about that? Perfect. What's the hashtag? Too soon. <laughs> Breaking ball is it for a strike. Beat the M's. How's that? Sounds good to me. That's perfect. Roberts at a fly ball to left field. You know, for the uh, the push to the playoffs, it should just be a sea of red all the oh, time. There's no question. Wait, what? The, the, the atmosphere at the ballpark for that series against Oakland was unbelievable. Long homestand coming up, the last of the uh, the season. Houston for three, Seattle for four, and Texas for three. Two balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike, and Hector has had the, these issues all season long. Sometimes they snuck up on him and kind of bit them. Other times been able to work around it. The old two-out letdown. Yeah, I was just going to say that exact same thing. And, and his focus, the first couple outs, great. And all of a sudden, it's like he's already thinking he's in the dugout. You got to continue that same good, firm mechanics to get big league hitters out with two outs. See the frustration, shaking his head, knowing he's behind in the count. He's a great competitor. Full count. Early indication on Twitter, by the way, is uh, they want the red polos. And nice. Red sombrero going. Nice. Not fully up to us, but uh, nope. a lot of Twitter responses already. And some with the hashtag too soon. <laughs> Full count on Robertson with two outs in the third, one nothing Angels. Rosales at DH on deck. Off speed, chopper to third. One hopper for David Freeze. And the Rangers are done in order here in the third. One right to the fourth, Freeze, Ibar, and Bosch coming up, up one nothing.
to start the ball game. He just picked up three other hits against Colby Lewis. The other three singles, but that's all. David Freeze takes a strike to lead off this fourth inning. He had a fly ball to left field to end the first. Lewis with two strikeouts, no walks, and the four hits allowed. David Freeze now eight for 22 on this road trip as he shoots one out to right field. Michael Choice moving back on it. Curls around to his left and has the ball go in and out of his glove. Freeze on his way to second and he is in there safely. A little bit of a drift, if you will, with Michael Choice. Especially when the ball is kept going, carrying towards that corner. Just unable to keep the ball in the glove, didn't squeeze the glove. Certainly there in plenty of time. A mistake made, and the Angels, especially of late, have capitalized on the mistake made by their opponent. Fourth there of the season for Michael Joyce. The Angels, the man at scoring position. Here's Eric Ibar. Out back off the mast. Eric struck out looking. He's the leadoff man in the second inning. One hundred fifty two hits for Eric this year. It always seems at times that the uh, gold glove is somewhat arbitrary, but uh, we certainly believe that Eric gold glove worthy this year as is Albert Pujols at first base. No question Mike Trout in center also ground ball to second. This will advance freeze to third. One out and a productive out for Eric Ibar though. Never want to make it out, but if you're going to make it out, you want to hit the ball to that side of the infield to advance David Freeze to third base. It's like the infield may be brought in now for the Rangers. Anytime the infield in is in, you have a better opportunity as a hitter to get that base hit. Bosch grounded out to Rua at first base his first time up. 0 for 1. First pitch breaking ball there. It's one ball, no strikes. And was trying to capitalize on the error by choice, allowing Freeze to reach second. Now over at third. Two balls, no strikes. And Conger on deck. Bosch skies went out to deep left center field long run for both Robertson and Leonis Martin Robertson at the track makes the catch what a play yeah phrase will tag and come in to score it's two nothing angels on the sack fly boy Bosch is looking out to left center field thinking you can't hit a baseball much harder to the other way and Robertson was able to run that one down at the wall but still sack fly RBI breaking ball 2 0 breaking ball and Brendan Bosch goes the other way, crushes this ball to left center field. Puts it at the warning track, runs it down, and a run scored on a sack fly by Brendan Bosch. Brown picks up his third RBI this season. The Angels do capitalize on the error. Base is clear now for Conger, who singled his first time up. First one's up and away. Weren't with us earlier today. No Josh Hamilton once again. Dealing with that sore right shoulder. Two balls, no strikes. And today uh, maybe even progressed a little bit. Hit off the tee. Was scheduled to hit off the tee and then go take batting practice on the field. But uh, the batting practice part of it was scratched. We had a conversation with him last night when we got in here. This one out toward right. He said he wasn't comfortable still, which is surprising. 
Halo's out of rod as we head to the bottom of the four. Two nothing. The American League East leading Baltimore Orioles on Fox and on Fox Sports 1. It's the Padres taking on the Diamondbacks. Action starts at 9.38 Pacific on Fox. It continues at 4.30 Pacific on Fox Sports 1. It's streaming live on Fox Sports Go. 2 nothing Angels here at the bottom of the fourth. Rosales, Beltre, and Rua. The Texas Rangers. It is 3, 4, and 5. To face Hector Santiago. Three hits allowed. One strikeout. No walks. Baltimore, by the way, tonight leading Boston four to one. They're playing at Fenway Park, Baltimore with a ten-game lead over both New York and Toronto. In the American League East as Rosales breaks his bat and lines out for the first out. Been able to do that even without Manny Machado. Yeah. Of course, Dave is playing a lot of third base. <laughs> Detroit leading Kansas City, a big series at Comerica Park. Currently four to one in the sixth inning. A win tonight for the Tigers with tie them atop the American League Central. Boy, Kansas City still has to complete that suspended game yeah. against Cleveland. It was at home in Kansas City, but it's going to be finished off in Cleveland. They were behind by two runs, four to two in the bottom of the tenth. But they resumed that game. Oakland has the top wild card spot at 80 and 63. Seattle one game back. They have the second wild card spot, 79 and 64. And then the Tigers, a half game back of that. Then Cleveland, New York, and Toronto. Cleveland, four and a half back of that second spot in the wild card. Cleveland taking on the Minnesota Twins, and they're down four to two. One ball, two strikes on Beltre, who's singled to lead off the second. Here, it's two nothing Angels. How was that impressive? Performance by the offense against a very good young pitcher, Danny Salazar, yeah. yesterday coming off a nine inning complete game shutout against the Tigers. So good the offense has been. This one down towards center. Hit very well. Trout moving back on it at the wall. That is gone. A solo home run for Adrian Beltre. And that is his 18th of the season. It's a 2 1 lead now for the Angels. Beltre now six for 14 versus Hector with three home runs, three RBI. Look at curveball to stay in the heart of the plate. And Beltre, he's been using the whole field this season once again. That went to dead center field. 13th home run that Hector is allowed. 12 of the 13 have been against right handed batters. 
So base is clear with one out, and here's Rua, the first baseman, who singled the center's first time up. Looks at a strike here. One ball, one strike. Saw that graphic with Rua hitting. 32 home runs last year, 29, 29 of which were at uh, A ball, the South Atlantic League at Hickory. Two at Double A Frisco at 23 games. Two balls, two strikes. Nice job by Hector getting back under control. He was a little bit angry. About that mistake pitch to Beltre threw a couple 93 mile an hour fastballs out of the zone, but followed up with a very good changeup on a 2 1 count. Pulled down a line, backhanded by Fruits. Two down. Base is clear, and Taylor will uh, step to the plate. August 10th, just before the Angels got here to. For the Texas Rangers, the Halos were a four back in the Oakland days to start a play tonight with an eight game lead. Oakland was leading last night's game in the ninth inning, four to three, before Tyler Flowers took Eric O'Flaherty deep to tie the game up. And then O'Flaherty got Chavez in the 12th to win it five to four as the bat went further than the baseball here on that swing. That was a serious toss at the bat. An Angel fan sitting in the Second row there. Picks it up. Well, it's a foul ball. Generally, you don't see that. It's usually a swing and miss. You see it back go that far. You know, the hand of that fan to end up right next to the foot of the Angel fan. Taylor had a sacrifice bond in the second inning. Fouls that one off to the right. It's one ball, two strikes, two to one angels. Bottom of the fourth, Belcher putting Texas on the board with a solo home run. He has two hits tonight. Four allowed by Santiago. Another one, two. Almost got him to chase. Two balls, two strikes. Well, you think right now is a perfect time to throw that two seam fastball away and down. You throw a change up, you throw a curveball in that part of the plate. Ground ball to the right side. Kendrick has it. Inning over, but Texas does get on the board. The Bell Trade Blast will head to the fifth. Halos lead it 2 1.
1-855-1-TWC. By the 2014 Camry at your Toyota dealer today, we make it easy. And by AT&T U-verse TV, mobilizing your world. Beautiful shot of Globe Life Park here in Arlington, Texas. It was a uh, gorgeous day, a very warm one. Temperatures peak in the uh, low 100s. 93 at game time. Two to one here at the top of the fifth inning. It's currently cooled down at 91. It's supposed to be warm uh, all week here. Three games set, all three night games. Lewis Santiago in game one here. Kobe Lewis with two strikeouts. Four hits allowed. Calgill fouls off the first pitch. That's a no one count. No time to get the offense back in gear, but we mentioned about Colby Lewis. Much better numbers as far as ERA as the game progresses. First four innings, ERA over six. The fifth inning on ERA 3.88 ERA for Lewis. Calgill retired on a fielder's choice in the second inning. He's 0 for 1. Cole Calhoun on deck, then Mike Trout to follow. Solo runs for the Angels in the first and fourth. Oakland has struck for two runs in the fourth inning in Chicago, leaves it 2 0. John Danks on the hill for uh, Chicago. Checks way, did not go. Two balls, two strikes. That was pretty close. Calgary able to hold off and not swing it. Slow curveball. It goes down swinging here for the third strikeout. Kobe Lewis on the night. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Cole steps up one for two with a home run of the first inning and then lined down to the second baseman Gilder Rodriguez who made a nice diving catch on it going to his left. Pretty impressive. The Angels have won 20 straight when Cole Calhoun scores a run. The longest streak in Angel history. Wally Joyner 19 games the Angels have won when he scored a run. Cole hits one out toward right field. Choice moving back on it. Drifting onto the warning track and will make the catch near the wall. Made that one look interesting as well. Two outs. Just missed his second home run of the game. I'm a little too high. I'm knocked down a little bit as he got towards the wall. Choice back at the wall. My second leaps up and catches it. Holds the ball hard three times. Yeah. Line drive. Rodriguez made a nice play. Choice runs back to the wall on that one, and Cole Homeward in the first inning. So two outs, the base is clear, and Mike Trout at the plate. One for two with a strikeout and a single up the middle. Oh, amazing. 71 games this season for Mike Trout, in which he's had at least one hit and one strikeout, though. Record for that thing too, Victor. 73 by Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn was a very good major league hitter. Two on pitch. This one's down toward right center field. Not hit very deep. Martin is there. And the Angels go down in order for the first time tonight. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Well, he's maintaining a one run lead.
three game series bottom of the fifth inning Hector Santiago has one strikeout and four hits allowed. One of which was the home run to Beltre in the fourth. They face the bottom third of the order here Sardinas choice and Rodriguez. Sardinas a shortstop popped out his first time up. He's 0 for 1 in the hole no balls in the strike. So far in this sequence for Hector, fastball in, backdoor slider. So some good changeups in this game so far. Also, going to go back inside with a fastball. One, two. Little jam roller over to Pujols, one away. Hey folks, September 17th, the Angels take on the Mariners at 7:05. Fans in attendance will receive the old halfway to St. Patty's Day hat, courtesy of the All Timers Association. While supplies last, purchase your tickets today by visiting the Angel Stadium ticket office or by logging on at Angels.com. Like Hank got the uh, follow through of the bat on that. Left arm area, wrist area. And Smith out to uh, take a look. Glove hand. And the follow through getting the wrist. But before Sardinas hit his and Hector worked very well with Hank Conger yet. He shook his head twice. But he wanted the fastball inside because the pitch before fastball in. So a young hitter, especially, starting to look away, especially after a pitcher shakes off the catcher's sign. But that was by design, and that's why you see the jam shot on him with the fastball in. Michael Choice, the right fielder, takes the breaking ball outside. He's 0 for 1 with a fly ball to right. Hold foul down the line. Choice skied one out to Calhoun. Second inch is 0 for 1. One count. 66 pitches thrown by Santiago so far. 40 of it strikes. Good idea to take that deep breath for Hector. He was upset with himself overthrowing that last fastball. And he walks choice. A one out free pass puts a tag run on board. Twentieth walk picked up by Choice this season. Not the most patient of hitters. And Gilder Rodriguez, second baseman, steps in. He struck out. Third inning, first big league at bat for him. So he's 0 for one. Strike out to Santiago has had today. And now the walk to choice, the only walk that he has issued, at least to this point of the ball game. Choice has one stolen base. Texas has a total of 89 on the season. They are sixth in the American League in that category. Led by Leonis Martin as this one's fouled back. So two.
pretty good lead for choice at first base. That was down of the way. He missed that location of his fastball by a lot for Hector. And Conga went that fastball inside. It was going to be a two seamer and ran away. Always important for Hector to keep that front shoulder in as far as his delivery and his mechanics. Called strike three on the inside corner, two outs. When Hank Conger and Hector Santiago have worked very well together this entire season, and looking back at that at bat against Sardinas, had their fastball in. Hank, look at where Sardinas was looking at, shook his head, but that was by design to go right back in, follow the fastball in with the fastball in, and then because of that, Sardinas is jammed on the pitch. Sardinas was looking away, potentially off speed when you see a pitcher shake their head like that. Leonis Martin, the leadoff man at center fielder, has a one ball, no strike count. He's 0 for 2 so far tonight with a pop up and a fly ball to center. Breaking ball caught the inside corner. This one line to center field and it's a two out single choice will stay at second base. So two on and two outs here. Daniel Robertson coming up. Looks like Hector wanted to put the bare hand up there for whatever reason. He was wise enough to pull the hand back right away. Jason really begins to get loose. Seventy four pitches thrown by a. Hector Santiago so far. So Mike Butcher goes out there to give really an opportunity to get loose. And it doesn't take a whole lot this type of uh, weather. Four pitches thrown by Hector Santiago, 45 strikes. Roberts hit a fly ball to left and a ground ball to third. Foul tips that one in the mid for strike one. Keep that pitch down though for Hector Santiago. That around that one elevated. Robertson likes pitches up in the zone. Ground ball toward third foul. This one wide. Of the bag at third base. No balls and two strikes. Halos in the top of the sixth. Then they have Pujols, Kendrick, and Freeze coming up. Colby Lewis retired the Angels in order in the uh, fifth inning. Right hander starting to settle in a little bit. Texas currently out hitting the Angels. Five to four. Calhoun very shallow in right field. Choice with pretty good speed over at second base. 0 2. Upstairs. One ball, two strikes.
considering the last two games and the offensive output. Angels bullpen for the most part. Fairly well rested. Two balls, two strikes now. He's trying to make that one more quality pitch after to get through this inning. Let's see Mike Sosha go to Grilly in the sixth. Hecker trying to get this last out to put himself in position and the Eagles be able to win this game. 2 2. Robertson bounces one to the right side. Pools has it. He'll flip it to second. And they force out Leonis Martin for the third out. What a heads up play by yeah. Albert because Hector was late he getting was the first. over it, But Albert, once again, a great decision. Force out at second. One. Angels getting the scoring early. Cole Calhoun solo shot to lead off the game. Brandon Bosch, a perfect swing with a sack fly to left field, scoring David Fries, who got on base via an error. And then, Green Beltre, solo shot to center field. That's where we stand here now on the top of the sixth. Two to one, Angels. Pulls Kendrick and Freeze for the Halos here in the sixth. Albert looks at a strike on a fastball. Albert 0 for 2. Fly ball out and a ground out. This one down the right field line, but slicing out of play. What well, Albert's been fantastic as far as defensively at first base and a smart decision. Baseball by Robertson off the end of the bat. Hector Santiago did not cover first, but Albert Polos wisely flips the ball over to Eric Ibar to get the fourth and second. If he looks at first, this could be still swinging the bat, Texas. Yeah. One ball, pardon me, two balls and two strikes. That last pitch pretty close to being a strike. Now he bounces it foul. And a 2 2 change up. Lewis has really mixed it up today. He threw a high fastball, a lot of slow curveballs. More so than a slider. Over to the shortstop, Sardinas. One down. Seven in a row now retired by uh, Colby Lewis. And Howie Kendrick will come to the plate. He's one for two with a single. 
more of a wider out to uh, the oldest Martin. His third inning at bat. Now he chops this one to Sardinus, a two hopper to the shortstop. Two down. So to bring up David Freeze. Angels swinging very aggressively goes against Colby Lewis early on in this ball game. And now he's got the Angels swinging at his pitches. And he's not throwing that get over fastball right now. He's throwing his slider or curveball or even his changeup first pitch. Not wasting any time. Wonder if Mike Sushi is going to go to the bullpen in the bottom of the sixth inning. It's free. His skies with a seven. This will chase Martin back, but he's got a beat on it. And for the uh, second straight inning, the Angels go down in order. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Halo maintaining a 2 1 lead. today and see how much you can save by T-Mobile Tuesday Night Baseball and by Hyundai. The all-new Sonata is here. Visit buyhyundai.com. Mercury Insurance. Get a fast free quote at MercuryInsurance.com today and see how much you can save. By T-Mobile Tuesday Night Baseball and by Hyundai. The all-new Sonata is here. Visit BuyHyundai.com. Shot of downtown Dallas. We are uh, just about halfway between uh, Dallas and Fort Worth. Arlington, Texas. Shot of the uh, three-game series between the Angels and the Texas Rangers. And Mike Sosha has indeed gone to the bullpen. Right-hander Jason Grilling. Takes over for Hector Santiago, but he'll face three, four, and five Rosales, Beltre, and Rua. And what you see with Jason really always makes some signs into that dirt on the mound. Basically, it comes down to dedicating each game and each opportunity he has on the mound for his grandma, his mom, a friend, his two sons. He's going out there and competing for them every single time he takes that mound as a major league pitcher. Really, the former Texas Ranger. Delivers a breaking ball to Adam Rosales. Rosales at DH is one for two. A single in the first inning lined out to freeze the fourth. Yeah. 
One ball, one strike. Jay's ahead of the count now. And one ball, two strikes. Really did pitch yesterday, but one inning and allowed one hit. Prior to that, not pitched since Thursday's opening game in Minneapolis. After Santiago, five innings, one run, it was earned. Five hits, including the home run to Beltran. Two strikeouts, one walk. Really spent part of 2009 here with Texas, pitched in 30 games. Two and two with a 4.78 for the Rangers. This one's fouled back to the right. And he set and do it again at two and two. Beltre tonight, two for two with a single and a home run. Five hits for Texas, four for the Halos. Little flare out towards shallow right. Kendrick is out there. One away. Hey, folks, September 18th, the Angels will take on the Mariners yet again at 7.05. And fans in attendance will receive a rally drop courtesy of Nitto Tire. While supplies last, purchase your tickets today at the Angels State of Ticket Office or by logging on at angels.com. Well, that's a good pitch by Grilly running that fastball in on Rosales. He was looking slider away. That noise you were making, that was a that was a drum. Sounded more like a horse. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, Beltre yeah. takes upstairs. Single in the second, the home run to center field in the fourth inning. His 18th of the year. Now is 71 runs batted in. Oakland, by the way, has opened up a 4 0 lead over the White Sox. That game's in the fifth. Two balls, no strikes. Angels with the uh, deep bullpen. Might as well go ahead and use it. You know, Hector just threw 79 pitches. But with this part of the order coming up, it's kind of a gamble. Beltre looked very comfortable against Santiago. That one misses inside. Three and zero. Four of the five hits have been this part of the order. From Rosales with a hit, Beltre with a hit and a home run. Ria with a hit also. Three balls, one strike. Three zero breaking ball. Like we said, don't give in to Beltre. And he walked him. Puts a man on. That's a tying run. Ryan Rua coming up, first baseman. Belcher has been on board three times. Came in to uh, tonight's action. Third in the American League in batting average of 323. Jose Altuve in the American League just barely over Victor Martinez, who's got even hotter of late. Rua has rolled into a couple double plays this season. Takes down and away.
Short lead for Bouncer at first. 1 0. This one's fouled off to the right. Certainly a healthy hack the Bruins takes. Well, he's a veteran pitcher, though. That's when you try to exploit a youngster who has that type of power. He likes to get that bat head out. That's when you throw that nice little slider down and away, give him a roll over on it. One and two. Freeze playing more towards the line than a traditional third base. Outfield is straight around and gets ruined. One, two. Jack swing. They wanted a field. Did not go. So you could cross the plate. Pretty close to crossing the plate. So a two ball, two strike count. Beltre drew the one out walk stands at first base. The Angels on top two one here in the sixth. This one line and Kendrick's got it for the second out. Right position, a line drive. How he would have spied on his face if we had it all the way. Slider, this one was up this time in the strike zone, and how he made a nice play on it. Otherwise, the ball's got a chance to uh, split the outfielders. That ball was squared up well. Guess the outfield was playing. We had to pull the ball. So two outs at Beltre at first base. Tomas Telis, all for one. He had a sack, but he's a switch hitting catcher. Sack, but of the second, a ground out to Kendrick in the fourth. Telis, uh, seven for 28 in the big leagues from the left side of the plate. Big wide open stance too from that left side. Well, generally when you see a stance like that, you're going to be susceptible to something away, whether it's off speed or even a fastball down and away. Open stance and you try to close, but it still opens up and looks for the inner half of the plate to drive the ball. This one pulled towards second. How he's got it. And the sixth is in the books. We'll head to the seventh here in Arlington. Handle still up by a run.
remember to tweet us your photos using hashtag WestFanPhoto. Your photo could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. Here is tonight's submission. We appreciate it. Keep sending them in to hashtag WestFanPhoto and uh, hope to get one of those on the rest of the time. We'll get a little over two and a half weeks after the season. Two more games here in Texas, and it's the final homestand. And then the final week of the season is coming up. We just will have a uh, tough six games there that final week. That's why you uh, want to take care of business now and on that homestand. No question about it. Continue to pour it on, put pressure on Oakland and Seattle. This is off the end of the bat. Foul, and it's one ball, one strike on Ivar. Eric is 0 for 2. Strike out in the second inning. A ground out in the fourth. Beltre playing out on the grass. This one's pulled to second base. Rodriguez to his left has it. One away. Hyundai key to this game tonight. Follow you, follow me. So far, Colby Lewis has prevented that. It's mixed and matched as far as his curveball and slider changeup. Just enough fastballs. Brendan Botch had a good swing against him last at bat. Almost. It went out the left center field end up being a sack fly in an RBI form, but the offense needing to stretch out this lead a little bit here now. Well, Lewis has retired 10 in a row. His boss fouls off the first pitch, and it should be 13 in a row had Michael Choice not dropped the uh, fly ball in right field. The freeze hit leading off the fourth that led to an unearned run. And the difference in this game. Best base runner to reach cleanly was the single by Trout in the third. But if you're Hector Santiago, you're going out of the mound today thinking, I got no chance of getting any runs. 26 runs the last two games. Then again, we have thought that yesterday. Yeah, that's after true. 14 the day before. Upstairs. This offense has been on a roll. Five game winning streak. 46 runs, and a total of 70 hits for those five games. We were yesterday picking up its 16th win, now 16 and 8 on the year. <laughs> Tops in the American League. And he's had a compete. Fastball velocity was pretty solid yesterday, 88 89. His curveball command was solid. Then the Cleveland Indian hitters seemed a little more patient as the game progressed against Weave. Two balls, two strikes on Bosch. The DH fouls this one back at the sack fly in the uh, fourth inning. Get his third RBI in the big leagues this year. Texas at the bottom of the seventh has the bottom third of its order coming up. Bosch goes down swinging for round number two. Fourth strike of the night for Colby Lewis. Right now he is on a roll. Even when he makes a mistake on a break of ball, it was high enough. He got a swing and missed with it. And the Salas getting ready. He pitched the seventh, which is uh, unusual. It's usually a uh, Jepson spot. And Salas pitched yesterday. Cogger pulls this one foul. Jepson has a pitch since he uh, closed out Friday's game. Picking up a second save. Unless maybe Jim Smith perhaps unavailable. Maybe Jepson. We'll just have to wait and see. And then off the glove. It's one ball, one strike. It used to be back in the day where managers, pitch and coaches would give you an idea who's down, who's not. I'm going to try to stay away from this guy. But with the, the way the information gets disseminated nowadays, 
managers. I ask Mike Sosha yeah. that question every day. And you get the same exact response every, every single day. Every day. Well, we see how they feel after they play catch. Exactly. And that's not a knock on us. It's just that, you know, now with information being out there, they don't want to give the, the opposition any type of a head start. Long run for Robertson at left field, and he'll get there and make the catch. Wow, what a play by the left fielder. The Angels once again go down in order. Seventh inning stretch time. Two to one Angels. We're on the mound. We'll face seven, eight, and nine. Sardina's choice and Rodriguez. Fifty-first game, a five and zero record, a two point five eight ERA. That's sixteen games, nineteen punch outs, and seventeen innings for Fernando. Fastball man has been solid. Slider, very good. Changeup, a definite plus pitch for him. Now the pitch an inning yesterday. Sardinas the batter leading things off. The shortstop's 0 for 2. Still look at his drive. He's popped up, grounded out. This one grounded a short. Ibar has it. One down. Take a look. The uh, the American League division races as well as the wild card, Mark. And you got Baltimore with a comfortable lead over there in the AL East at 10 games over Toronto and New York. Kansas City with a one game lead over the Tigers, but the Tigers lead the Royals tonight in Detroit. It was up by eight over both over Oakland and Seattle. Nine back. Wild card leaders Oakland and Seattle with Detroit just a half a game back. That's going to be a great race for the wild card. Both wild cards this year in the American League as well as the National League. Choice over one with a fly ball to right and a walk. Right fielder committed the error back in the fourth inning. Allowing an unearned run to score. Three the Angels at that point a 2 nothing lead. Beltre got one of the runs back of the home run at the bottom of that inning. 18th of the season. So his fouls it back. One ball, two strikes. This is really faced four batters in the sixth inning. 
A scoreless inning. He allowed a walk, but nothing more. So I can miss. Down goes Choice. Two down. Another good all-speed pitch from Fernando Salas. Got a ground ball out on a changeup. Then they swing and miss on that excellent changeup away. Boy, he has a good feel for that pitch. Rodriguez is 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. in the eighth inning will have Cal Gill Calhoun and Trout coming up. Kobe Lewis I figure will come back out although there's a couple of guys getting ready out of the pen although just playing catch right now Michael Kirkman the lefty is doing so. Two balls, one strike. Game in Chicago is still 4 0 Oakland. Top of the sixth inning. John Danks, John Lester. A couple of lefties. And even up the count on that foul ball. Detroit still leading Kansas City. It's 4 2 now in the eighth inning. So Kansas City is a man at third base. The bullpen for the Tigers has been uh, very shaky all season long. An angel fan with a souvenir baseball. A smile on her face. Tampa Bay leading the Yankees 4 3. And Rodriguez goes down, swinging a 1 2 3 inning for Salas, including a couple of strikeouts. We head to the eighth, 2 1, Halos. Uh, have managed four hits against Colby Lewis. Cole Calhoun got the scoring started in the first of the leadoff home run. And aside from that, three singles as Colby Lewis has gone into a lockdown mode here. He's retired 12 straight. A lot of first pitch swings at Colby Lewis of late, too, and he's really starting to manipulate the strike zone, changing speeds, too, now. Cal Gill, Cal Hood, and Trap. 
At some point, don't you uh, maybe drop one down? They call me Lewis Fielder's position. Especially he's been on such a roll. Shaky at best doing that as well. Not the most nimble of uh, fellows, especially at this stage of his career. Collins 0 for 2, Fielder's choice of a strikeout. Chasing the pitch that would have been ball two. Over aggressive on a changeup. Two runs, four hits, three left on for the Angels. One run, five hits, one error, five left on for Texas. One ball, two strikes. Boy, a lot of times you see Lewis follow up a fastball away like that with a slider away. Dribbler on the third base side. This might be just as good as a bond, and it is an infield base hit. Just put it in play, make contact. Got that slider down and away. Just hit it off the end of the bat with Beltre playing back with two strikes. No way he's going to be able to come in and make the play. And now you have an opportunity to do some action as far as hit and run. Beltre playing back has to come in on that baseball slow roller. Calgill runs well. To beat the now for a hit. Tim Bogar is out, and that's going to be it for Colby Lewis. You know, My Michael Kirkman, the lefty, will be coming into the ball game to face Cole Calhoun. Leadoff man on board for the Angels here in the eighth. 2 1 Halos. He went seven innings, gave him five hits, including the home run to Cole. Four strikeouts and no walks. As the left hander Michael Kirkman comes into the ball game. He's pitching just three games at the major league level this year. And he'll face Cole Calhoun here with nobody out. You're going to see a lot of sliders from Kirkman. Fastball is 86 to 91 range, but a lot of sliders. Kirkman designated for assignment at the end of spring training. Set down to the minor leagues and pitched a triple A round rock this year. Cole tonight one for three. Homer to the first line down of the third. A fly ball to deep right in the fifth. More of a check over at first base to see if Cole Calhoun would square around the bunt. Kirkman five and five in the four four seven at Triple A this year. Fifth limit Triple A hitters to a one ninety eight batting average. Calgill takes off the pitch is a breaking ball. The third out of second is not in time. A stolen base for Calgill. First movement. If you guess right against a left handed pitcher, you're going to be successful quite a bit of the time. Calgill picked the right pitch. Went on first movement. 
and able to steal base get into scoring position. Third stolen base of the season for Calgill. And it uh, looks like Tim Bogart is going to come out and maybe have uh, their guys take a look at the play at second. So he wants Dino Ebel to check in on the two. We're going to review this one. Well, that looked like unless he came off the base. It looks like there he may have come off the base yeah, there as he slid through. Just slightly off the base. His foot stayed on there in the end. That's the only discussion it could be is if did he lose contact with the bases? He had had that head first slide in the second base. Certainly beat the throw. But they looked like there was a time in which his thigh was off the base, Calgill, and in. Very difficult to be able to tell there. The foot is still on the base. There. And there was a second reach back, though, there by Sardina. So you wonder if you tag and come off and then go back. On the first replay we showed, it looked like there was some separation there that could cause an overturn here. Right in here. He's trying to continue to keep that tag on the leg of Cal Gill. It's one of the risks that you uh, kind of run through when you uh, dive head first into a base. Is kind of a continuation through the bag. Well, you see a lot of base teams starting to do that. Emulating Ricky Henderson is very good at doing that. This would be a good view potentially to see if there is. Although, tough to tell if his leg was off the base. It's going to be a tough one. This could take a bit. So that one looked like Sardinas did keep the tag applied the whole time. Call in the field is saved, so well, clearly there has to be evidence that uh, Colin came off the bag while the tag was applied. Now, how long is that arm on the base as he's going off? There's no connection on the thigh of Calvio on the base, but is his forearm and every, you know, the part of his arm still on the base at that point as he goes through the slide? Yeah. From a challenge standpoint, it makes sense for Tim Bogart to, to use it at this point. No question. You have to. One run game. And uh, they're saying Calgill is safe, so uh, not enough evidence. Will depend on what they, uh, how they rule it. If the call is confirmed, or the call stands, and we'll tell you that in just a second here. So the ruling stands. So not enough evidence to overturn the call, and it's a one-ball, no-strike count on Cole Calhoun. So his third stolen base of the season. Now Cole's job here, no matter what the scenario is, at least hit a ground ball to that right side of the infield, if not a base hit. Beltre in on the grass. Cole out in front of the off-speed pitch. Calhoun leading off the first inning on an 0-2 pitch from Colby Lewis. And by getting that bat hit out. Barrel the bat and gets it out for his 15th home run of the season. One one now. That's on the corner. On the corner of the Fox track. Look like that pitch is way off the plate. We can see Kirkman trying to stay away against Calhoun because he's trying to keep him from hitting the ball to the right side of the infield. And that pitch off the plate. Jim Joyce has been very good throughout this game, but that pitch looked like it was well out of the strike zone. Yeah, I mean, that's not even close to borderline. One ball, two strikes now. Robertson playing shallow and left, as is Martin in center. And Cole went around. One down. And that's what that called strike two does to a left-handed batter there. He, more susceptible to the outside part of the because of that it. illusion that, that pitch is a strike, so you have to protect more so on something on that outer half of the plate. 
And that's that good hard slider from Kirkman. That was a one batter situation for Kirkman. He retires. Cole Calhoun, another pitching change. 2 1 Halos. New pitcher for the Texas Rangers is Ramon Mendez. Right over the Dominican Republic, now 24 years of age. The Angels have faced him a uh, very, very good arm. 23 big league games this year. 0 1 record at a 1.71 ERA. Yeah, power fastball 92 to 97 slider. Change up, swing and miss, split finger fastball. He'll face Mike Trout here with one out of the man in scoring position. Trout one for three with a single back into third. The Angels have Kevin Jepson warming in their bullpen for the bottom of the eighth. Texas will have the top of its order coming up. First one to Trout. Breaking ball in for a strike. I think Mike Trout will let that pitch back again. Slider down. And we'll throw his split finger fastball down in the strike zone also. This is the area where Mike Trout can crush a baseball when it's down. Another breaking ball, another strike, and it's 0 2. On deck. That spin move might be a good idea to kind of take out of the uh, pitcher's repertoire. Along with that, the old third, take the third, throw the first move. They got that's banned. deceiving the base runner, and that's generally yeah. what a balk is. Oh, two. This one's driven out toward right center field. Choice giving Chase not going to get there. That's a one hopper off the fence. That's at least a triple. Watch Trout run on his way to third. It's an RBI triple. Three to one Angels. Boy, another good swing on an 0-2 pitch. Calhoun led off the game with a home run on an 0-2 pitch. This 0-2 pitch to Mike Trout. Triple. Take a look at the pitch by pitch against Trout Mendez. First pitch, get over slider, then a very good slider on the outside corner and try to sneak a fastball to Mike Trout, middle part of the plate, and he crushed it to right center field for a run scoring triple, 103rd RBI, seventh triple of the season for Trout. That's a great swing. Pardon me, Mark. Infield in now for Texas. 
with one out and Trout standing at third. Pujols is 0 for 3. That's that short, compact swing for Mike Trout. This one pulled over to third. Beltre comes up with it. Fires to the plate and Trout is out. What a play by Adrian Beltre to keep another run off the board. And there's a reason why he's won multiple gold gloves. That's about as quick as a reaction and get to get up and throw a perfect throw to get Mike Trout out at the plate to boot. Hit on a on a line. One hopper. Perfect throw to the plate. And Trout tagged out. How quick those reactions are and how quickly Beltre got up and a perfect throw. And that clear path to the plate. And the tag applies. Albert reaching out of the fielder's choice. Here's Allie Kendrick, who's had a one for three game. He'll look at a breaking ball for a strike. Boy, Albert can't hit a baseball any harder. No. The book on Colby Lewis is closed. Seven innings plus a batter, five hits, four strikeouts, no walks, three runs, two earned. One ball, one strike. Well, Leonis Martinez playing almost in straight up right center field. It's almost a, a soft ball alignment if you had the four outfielders out there. It was a good position back in the third to catch yeah. that rocket did how he hit that way. Which almost got over his head too. One one. This was back up the middle. And it's a base hit for Kendrick. He two hit everything game. hard. Well, when Howie gets on one of those rolls where he hits and uses the entire field, everything is hit on the line. Fastball is down. And try to do a whole lot with it. Right back up the middle. With the terminology Don Baylor uses, short through the baseball. We've seen a lot of those swings of late. And now Mike Maddox is going to come out. His first visit. Maddox out to massage the message in on uh, Ramon Mendez. Robbie Ross, the lefty now, is getting ready. Oh, it looks like Maddox wants to set up some dinner reservations here or something. Long conversation. And Mike Trout, that great swing we talked about, getting short through the baseball. He can get his hands in. He's in our phantom cam, and how he's able to get his hands in and barrel the bat on a firm mid 90s fastball, short through the baseball, and looking to go the other way. He crushes that ball to right center field. That's a great camera angle. It's perfect textbook as far as. Short through the baseball. Brace tonight is 0 for 3. As Pujol standing at second and Kendrick at first with two outs here in the eighth. One run in. A 3 1 Angels lead. 1 0 on away. And it's fouled back to the right. One two count on freeze. Jepson's ready to go. He's coming into the game in the eight. I guess we've narrowed it down to either uh, Joe Smith or Houston Street may not have been available tonight. Salas pitching the seventh. Off the plate. Two balls, two strikes. 
where Freeze has done very well in these situations of late. Here's Howie. Last four games, 12 hits for Howie Kendrick. Full count. It'll give Albert a little bit of a head start at second base. Very important. There's some pretty good arms out in the outfield here for the Rangers. Runners go. The 3 2 is outside. So they're loaded up for Ibar. You wonder if they go to the uh, bullpen to turn Ibar around, and here comes Bogart. Sure enough, Robbie Ross will be summoned. He'll be the third reliever used here in the eighth inning. A pitching change yet again. Halo's up 3 1. Two outs here in the eighth inning with the Angels up three to one, looking for some more insurance runs. Robbie Ross takes over on the mound, two and six this year with a 6.25 ERA. He 21 games, 12 starts. He first came up, he was kind of a in the big leagues a bullpen piece because of the injuries. Has been used as a starter on occasion for Texas. He's got no place to put Ibar. He has pools at third, Kendrick at second, and the pinch runner Sean O'Malley. At first base, yeah, he's had some good numbers as a reliever. Fastball 88 to 92, slider curve changeup. A lot of fastballs though from Ross. Eric is 0 for 3 tonight. He'll take low for ball one. Been on a heck of a tear over the last uh, couple of weeks. Fouls this one back to the right. One ball, it's dry. Two balls, one strike. I bought from the right side of the plate this year, 255 average with a home run and 15 runs batted in. Ross ready. To water, swing and a miss. Good fastball on the inside part of the plate. He looks up the count. He'll throw a lot of a lot of fastball movement from Ross. 
is a four seam and a two seam fastball. Two two now. And the dirt. A full count. So again, the base runners to take off on the next pitch. All three of these base runners belong to Mendez. The run played it here already in the eighth inning. Charge to Colby Lewis. Runners take off the three two, and that's a chopper. Foul off the leg. Reset and do it again. Pretty close borderline pitch, but close enough you have to swing in if you're Eric Ibar. Outfield playing shallow all the way around. Another 3 2. This one's lifted down the right field line. Long run for choice. It is a fair ball. Bounces into the seats. Two runs will come in, and the Angels extend their lead to 5 1. And how big has Eric Ibar been this entire season? You mentioned what he's done in his last 23 games. 384 batting average. Well, I'll go up even more so with that double. Drive it in two more. Adding on to that career high as far as RBI for Eric Ibar now 64 just inside the line. Huge double. O'Malley ends up at third base, and now Chris Ionetta will pinch in here for Brennan Bosch. Nobody warming for Texas, so Ross will be the guy. Bosch finishes the night 0 for 2. Did have a sack fly back in the fourth. I had a 258 batting average, seven home runs, and 43 runs batted in. I'm going to walk him. They're going to face uh, Gordon Beckham, has come out to the on deck circle. He'll be batting in Hank Conger's spot. So I will go behind the plate. Beckham will take over at third. Actually, you don't even have to uh, do that now with John Buck here. You've got a third catcher. That about John being up with the Angels. There's the intentional one. And now it's time for the Arco top tier play of the game. Bases loaded. Eric Ibar once again coming through with a clutch. Ground rule double just inside the line of right field. Driving in two more now 64 RBI on the season for Eric Ibar. Boys, he made great plays in the field and has he come up with some clutch, clutch hits this season. So back up will bat. But the base is loaded here. As an Angels hit 292. First one's inside. On the season, back of 225 with eight home runs, 42 runs batted in. 0 for 2 as a pinch hitter. Kendrick at third, Ibar at second, I net up at first base. 1 0 now. Down and in, two balls, no strikes. Boy, you're asked to walk a guy now, a couple in this inning. Especially for Ross, four pitches out of the strike zone. Then you got to get right back into your mechanics and throw a strike, and right away, two pitches out of the zone for Robbie Ross. 5 1 Angels with three runs so far here in the eighth. 2 0. Three balls and no strikes. There's a 3 1 pitch. Got that one in there for a strike to make it 3 1. Back of the ninth band to bat here this eighth inning. And it started with an infield base hit by Colin Calgill. 
on a two strike pitch by Colby Lewis. 3 1 now. And he walked in a run, make it 6 to 1 Angels. That's one thing we've seen a lot from the Angels this year patience with walks with the bases loaded. So Beckham gets credited with an RBI. Calgill will bat with the bases loaded. What's up? You said a number of times of late, Victor, batting around for the Halos. The third consecutive game in which they've had an inning. They batted around him. Oh, and one. Collin, one for three with that infield base. It also picked up his third stolen base. Down the line, that's a fair ball. This should clear the bases. Eyeball in. Ionetta is going to score. Beckham being waved in on his way to third is Colin Calgill. And the Angels have opened it up here in the eighth. Boy, it took a little time, but once again, another eight runs scored in a game by the Halos. Talked about it in the opening, averaging a little over nine during this five game streak. But what a swing. Getting back to that approach, short through the baseball, right down the right field line. Bases clearing, triple by Calgill. Collins' first triple of the season. And now with the 21, runs batted in. There's Cole Calhoun. He's had a one for four game. He shoots this one foul into the seats. This is with the seventh run, make that a nine run. We almost rate on the average the last five games, a little over nine runs per game, nine here tonight. A six run, six inning Sunday. A six run, fifth inning yesterday. And now a seven run, eighth inning tonight. The old crooked numbers. Mendes gets charged with three of those runs in one third of an inning. The other three charged to Robbie Ross, which will also be in one third of an inning. Should he complete this eighth inning? Trout on deck. That's a called strike three. Calhoun can't believe it. But the inning is over. The Angels drop a seventh spot on Texas. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. Nine to one Angels. Locked and loaded in the bullpen. He'll come into this game even with the score at 9 1. We'll face the top of the order here at Martin Robertson and Rosales. And he'll have a new catcher behind the plate 
as Chris Ineta does stay in the game and will take over for Hank Conger. So the Angels have uh, given up their DH here in this uh, bottom of the eighth inning. John McDonald takes over at third for David Fries. And we've been on the catcher's mat just in case he needed to go out there to warm up the pitcher. The emergency catcher? Yes. Well, we get asked that question all the time who's the emergency catcher? Well, <laughs> there's your answer. Oh, the ace of the staff can do it all. Well respected by his teammates. Martin Robertson and Rosales here in this eighth inning against Kevin Jepson. The center fielder one for three had a base hit in the fifth inning. Jepson behind now at two balls no strikes. Well, a solid outing by Fernando Salas too. Couple of punch outs at one inning. Kevin's come out and fallen behind here. Three balls, no strikes. Third reliever used by Soch. Santiago went five innings, allowed one run on five hits. Jason Grilly pitched a scoreless sixth inning, and Salas, as Mark just pointed out, the scoreless seventh. And now a four pitch walk to start at the bottom of the eighth. Stick around after the last down. Angels live post game presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. We'll break it all down for you. Kent French and Jose Moda will be live immediately following the game. Daniel Robertson is 0 for 3. He's made a nice uh, couple of defensive plays out in left field. Count even up with one ball, one strike. Tigers, by the way, ended up hanging on and defeating Kansas City Royals 4-2, even though they had a couple of men on. Royals did anyways in the ninth. Gerard Dyson trying to steal third. You're down with by, one out. You're down by two. You have two on try to steal third. Yeah. That was the second out, and then Salvador Perez struck out there in the game. That was Joe Nathan on the mound for the Tigers, too. And it's been a tough go for him as closing games for the Tigers. They came through there. Now they're all even up yep. in that AL Central. In the Chicago, they're in the uh, eighth inning. Oakland leading the White Sox five to two. One two to Robertson upstairs two balls two strikes six balls two strikes for Kevin Jefferson he pitches he's thrown here in the eighth Pujols playing behind Martin at first base and now full count. Oh, with that good fastball that you have now, Kevin Jepson, he's got to challenge Robertson is keep that ball down or middle, middle away. Good fastball and an eight run lead. Three two. Robertson fouls it off. Things that, thing is, it's difficult as a pitch when you come in these games to get hitters to chase breaking balls. You want to challenge with your fastball. If you can get ahead, then maybe. 
But even then, they're more apt to just look for a fastball. This challenge, especially when you throw 96 to 98 like Jevers does. Jevers with a great fastball. And, li and like you said, in the eighth inning, with an eight-run lead, the last thing you want to do is give life to a team that uh, is ready to call it a night. Now back to the right. Well, a number of these pitches from Jepson in this at bat. It's Robertson. A lot of them up. Four out of the seven pitches have been elevated. Been a while since being on the mound. As far as being in a game and on the mound. That's what happens. You're a little bit stronger than normal and you elevate fastballs. Called strike three. Robertson gets rung up on a pitch that was on the corner and one down. That was paint. Good fastball 95. We talked about that's the location that Jepson should go with. Show all those pitches up in the strike zone. Finally paints that outside corner, hits the spot. Calls third strike looking. Adam Rosales looks at a strike. Rangers DH one for three as he singled back at the first inning. Oh, it too. Albert still playing behind Martin over at first base. A leadoff walk for him. Just off the plate. Houston and Seattle scoreless in the second inning. Seattle trailing Oakland by one game in the uh, wild card standings. Rosales looks from out to shallow center field. Trout has to come in and will make the catch in the second out. Well, we talked about this tough road trip. Three different cities for Mike Sosa's club. Eight times in franchise history. At three games, three days, in three different cities. On all three, only once. That was back in August 6th, 7th, and 8th, back in 2006. But all three of these games, first time possibly, especially three different road cities. Minnesota, Cleveland, now here in Texas. Off-speed pitch, a called strike on Beltre. It's been the focus. Mike Sosa's club, he's always talked about it. We always joke with him about that one day at a time mentality, but that's the seems to be the case for this club this season. One at bat, one game at a time. And the other thing we're seeing too, as the Angels continue to win here, and the way it should be, and even with the current eight-game lead, you got a chance to go for the jugular. Take it, Hector Santiago. 79 pitches tonight, five innings in a two-one game. But right to Jason Grilly with the top of the middle part of the order coming up. And trusting that bullpen. Mike Sosha has extreme confidence in his bullpen this season. Beltre skies one found the Calvert Mays at Doe Balls two strikes. If you're a starter right now, especially the way the offense is going, if you go five or six innings, Mike Sosha will be going down to the bullpen. And as a starting pitcher, you still have a lot left in you, especially come postseason. Matt Shoemaker will be on the mound tomorrow night. Boy, Rasmus will get to start on Thursday. The bullpen game on Thursday. 0 oh, 2. This one line to right. That'll fall in for a hit. Calhoun cuts it off. It'll hold Beltre to a single as Martin ends up at third. So a three hit game for Adrian Beltre. The pitch is a fastball elevated. Boy, he's been on board all four times. First and third, two outs here, and Ruoff, the uh, first baseman, now up. 
when it comes to this game this season, Beltre against the Angels, a 347 hitter this year. Now three hits tonight. Look at our phantom cam as far as staying through the baseball himself and using the barrel of the bat to go the other way. A little bit more of a longer swing than we saw from Trout, who gets his hands inside the baseball well, but a lot of coverage for Beltre on all parts of the plate. Ruol one for three tonight with a base hit back in the second. Top part of the strike zone. He was up to count at one and one. Halos in the ninth inning have two, three, and four do up. Trout, Pools, and Kendrick. Jepson trying to keep this a 9 1 lead. Rua fouls it back. Boy, especially those hitters count. Talk about a kid that loads up and lets it flop through the zone. He's got good power. Team the base runner third and Beltre at first. Two outs here in the eighth. Two two. This one's out to right. Cole going back on it. Racing back there. Leaps up and he can't get it. It goes off the fence. Beltre is going to be waved in. Rua stops at second. And it's going to be a two RBI double. And it's nine to three. Well, that baseball has some carry on it. Calhoun back to the wall, jumps up. Was hard into that wall. Tries to time his leap, unable to catch that. Baseball hit well. Second big league double for Ruan, and now with five big league RBIs. That's that impressive power to go the other way. Yeah, Jepson gets charged with these two runs, and now Talis will switch it and catch her up. Might force the Angels to get some action going. That was a pretty good pitch. It's one ball, no strikes. At least tonight, 0 for 2. Had a sack, but back in the second. 26 pitches thrown by Jefferson so far. What a one. Warren getting ready. Saw him signal there. Two more. That's how. That's how quickly we can get loose in this weather. 88 degrees right now. And it's approaching 10 o'clock local time. At least grounds with a short. Should do it. High bar. Over to Pujols. Eight complete here. As we head of the ninth. Halos up nine three.
about how well this club has swung the bats of late. Absolutely dominant. Crushing the baseball. Nine runs tonight. 12, what, 14 and 12 runs. Previous two games. First time two straight games of that amount of runs of 12 or more since 2006. Have never scored 12 or more in three straight games. So we're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Especially with this part of the lineup coming up. That's right. Two, three, and four coming up. New pitcher in for the Texas Rangers. Spencer Patton takes over. His two big league games under his belt. Scoreless two and a third so far. Good numbers at uh, AAA. Five and four with a 390 ERA. 18 saves. AAA uh, Round Rock and Omaha. Rangers and the Royals system. He'll have a new first baseman as JP Aaron Sibia takes over at first base. Moves Ryan Rua over to third. So Adrian Beltre no longer in the lineup. You know, Patton's fastball is 91 to 95, his slider, an occasional changeup. Trout, Pools, and Kendrick. The Angels here tonight. Trout a two for four game with a single and a triple. Also picked up an RBI. It's 103rd of the season. Trout hits one toward short. Sardinas has it, gets rid of it quickly. Trout retired for the first down. Up steps Pujols. Albert hitless today. Good shot of fielder's choice in the eighth inning and scored one of the seven runs he just put on the board. Nine runs, nine hits, four left on for the Angels. Three runs, seven hits, one error, and six left on for Texas. Mike Morin continues to loosen to the pen, so we get the bottom of the ninth inning. Bottom third of the order due up for Texas. Oakland leading Chicago six to two that game now the bottom of the eighth inning with the White Sox batting and a man on two balls two strikes. Back up the middle. The second baseman Rodriguez is there, however, in the shift. Two down. Take a look at the uh, National League division races as well as the wild card. Well, the Nationals that play great best baseball really have opened up a big lead against the Braves at nine. Pittsburgh trying to hang in there against the Cardinals. The Dodgers with a number of games coming up with the Giants at three and a half back in that wild card race. Very competitive. In the National League should be some great divisional series race, especially in that National League. Well, Milwaukee, boy, they struggle. They're in third place now, but still only a game and a half back in the wild card race, though. In that tough stretch. Now he hits one sharply to short. Sardinas picks it up, fires the first. The Angels go down in order. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Mike Morn in to try to finish this one off. And the Angels up 9 3.
on top, looking for their 89th win of the season. And at the very least, maintain an eight-game lead in the American League West. Mike Morin on in relief here. He'll be facing the bottom third of the order. 52nd game for Morin, 3-3 three three record, a 250 ERA, 48 strikeouts, 15 walks, 15 walks, pardon me, and 50 in the third innings. Sardinas, Choice, and Rodriguez are the uh, scheduled three batters here. All right, Tim Bogar and the Texas Rangers. Matt Shoemaker on the hill tomorrow night. Nick Tepish is on the hill for Texas. A couple of white handers going tomorrow. And on Thursday, it's Nick Martinez for Texas. And as we mentioned, Corey Rasmus will get that bullpen start on Thursday. Right now, scheduled to get some rain on Thursday. But, uh, could be hit or miss this time of year. No question down here with this heat. We're hoping for more miss than uh, hit. Maybe early in the day. Yeah. First one from Moore is upstairs. First game for Mike since he pitched Friday in Minneapolis. Went one inning in that one. Two balls, no strikes. Strike two and one. On the inside corner. That'll leave it up the count. Set up for this changeup. Got him to chase it. How he has it. One down. Here's Michael Choice, the right fielder. Oh, for two. Did draw a walk back in the fifth. Has an error in the ball game. And first one in for a strike. And I was looking to extend their winning streak to six games. Just after losing the first two to start the road trip in Houston. Just missed inside. One ball, one strike. A tight ball game until the eighth inning. Lead off infield base hit by Colin Calgill. To Bogar, went to the bullpen. Kirkman struck out Calhoun. That uh, hit choice on the hand. He'll take his base. Off speed pitch, it got away from Mike. He'll be on the top of the hand. After Kirkman struck out Calhoun, Bogar went back to the pen, brought in Mendez. Trout with the RBI triple, and the uh, the floodgates kind of opened up. And a couple really good at-bats on 0-2 pitches, too. Calhoun a home run in the first, and that triple by Mike Trout on an 0-2 pitch. Sixth consecutive win for the Angels with tying season high. Be the Angels' fourth time this year. See the replay on that hit by pitch. Oh, almost a, a right in the wrist there. You can see the vibration in the arm as it hits his wrist. Yeah, but it was the meaty part of the hand. <laughs> Let me know what trainers tell you that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't hurt that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gilda Rodriguez. His major league debut tonight, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Yeah. 
Seven hits for Texas, nine for the Angels. Choice way off the bag at first base. More than likely takes second, and he does. That's on indifference. Two balls, one strike. Top of the order, Leonis Martin on deck. Two balls, two strikes. Loss for Texas would put them at 54 and 90 on the season. Long look hit for Bourne, and now uh, once I had to run through the sides again. Nine three here, at the bottom of the ninth, with one out. Full count. Martin has been on board twice with a single little walk. Matter of fact, let off the eighth. It's Jepson for the walk and scored one of the two runs. 3 2 now. And he walked it. So a hit by pitch, followed by a walk with one out here in the ninth inning and two on. And Mike Sosha is going to come out. And this is going to be a conversation. Yeah. It's more about maybe pitch selection. We'll go after him. This is a no-nonsense conversation here for the youngster. Yeah, he's basically telling him, okay, you're in this position right now. Go after you have a good fastball challenge and get him. Get ahead of the count. Don't allow them to feel they're back in this game. They certainly don't want any opportunity where you get Adrian Beltre up. Well, Beltre no longer in the game as a uh, defensive replacement made the switch with Aaron Sibia. The last thing you want, though, is to start more action in the bullpen. Especially when you know you have that bullpen game yeah. on Thursday. First and second, one out. Leonis Martin at the plate. One for three game. Delivers a strike. Sometimes you know, it's good for the manager to go out there, especially with a rookie, young pitcher on the mound. Kind of remind him, get the lock back in here. I know you're trying to maybe work on stuff, but we don't want you to work on it. We want to finish this game off. Downstairs, one on one. And this doesn't seem to be following through on his fastball. Morin. See him cutting across his body to the finishing off in that front leg, hitting his spots and down. Foul back. Two balls, two strikes. Joe Smith getting ready to pen. Now back on the fastball. Daniel Roberts is the man on deck. Two two now. Swing and a miss. Down goes Martino. The changeup. Two down. Now that was an excellent changeup from Mike Morin. Starts middle part of the plate and ends up dropping out of the zone. He's got his changeup grip to a lefty. Will run away. He'll cut his changeup against the right-handed batter. That's a perfect pitch from Morin. It's effective pitch when you're ahead of the count. Very good movement. On this changeup. Oh, 
Robertson looks at a strike. The left fielder 0 for 4 tonight struck out looking his last time up. Oh, and two. No balls, two strikes with two outs and two on here tonight. Halo's up nine to three. Roberts fouls it back. And fastball that last pitch up and away. Calgill playing shallow, pardon me, uh, Calhoun playing shallow and right. Michael Choice, the base runner at second, and Rodriguez at first base. <laughs> Robertson pops one up behind first base. Pujols is there. Like that baby up as the Angels make it six in a row tonight. The final nine to three. Boy, a close game became not so close with a seven run eighth inning. Calgill big triple started off that inning with an infield hit. Bases clearing triple. Cole Calhoun got the scoring started once again. That's 21 straight games the Angels have won when Cole Calhoun has scored a run. Nine hits, nine runs, another victory here.